Good morning, good morning guys. I'm Elle. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. You might hear some little babbles through today's video and that's because I have my baby Brighton on my lap today while I'm doing this voiceover. But I wanted to do a quick 10 minute tidy video for you today. So these are just quick 10 minute videos that are meant to give you tons of motivation to get off the couch and conquer your day. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button. I try to do monthly cleaning videos and I switch up between 10 minute tidies, focus cleans and whole house deep cleans. So if that's your jam, I would love it if you hit subscribe. Let's get started. So today I wanted to focus mostly on my bedroom and the upstairs bathrooms. So I'm just starting with making my bed. If you are newer to the channel, you won't know that I used to hate making my bed and I often just never made my bed. And I really have had a come to Jesus moment. I love making my bed in the morning. It makes me so much more productive. It makes me feel more put together, which is the weirdest thing to say, but I love it. And if you're someone who doesn't make the bed, but you're maybe wanting to start to get into that habit, one thing I would say is make it easier for you to make your bed. I tuck my blankets in at the bottom of the bed underneath the mattress. So I'm not having to redo the quilt every single day. I just kind of pull it up and because it's easier, I am more likely to do it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the bathroom. Are you like me where your cabinets, by the time you're done getting ready, look like an absolute disaster zone? I am incapable of getting ready for the day and keeping it clean. Also, I have to jam out to music while I'm cleaning. It's my favorite thing to blare music and just kind of dance while I'm cleaning. It keeps the motivation up, it helps the time pass, and it's actually really fun. Next, I'm going back to the bedroom and cleaning the mirror because I had forgotten to do that and I always have little fingerprints all over my mirror because I've got a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a one-year-old who love hanging out in my room, so it's always covered with kiss marks and fingerprints, but this bedroom looks much more tranquil now. Why can't you forget? I'm gonna start my laundry in the washer. And if you missed the video, I recently redid my laundry room and I did it on a budget. So if you are looking for some laundry room inspiration, I will have that video linked down below. I'm trying this new laundry detergent. It was sent to me by True Earth. It's 100% biodegradable laundry strips and the packaging is zero waste. So you rip these laundry strips into tiny little squares and uh, they say you can put it in whole, but they do suggest if you want, uh, you can rip it into tiny pieces and put it in your dispenser if it's a front loader and straight in the washer dryer if it's a top loader. And again, it's 100% biodegradable and zero waste. And so, you know, the question is, does it perform? I've been using it for about two weeks now and I think it works really, really well. So it's a really great option if you're looking to get an environmentally friendly laundry detergent or a cruelty free laundry detergent i'll have it linked down below in case any of you are interested I'm not gonna find you. Yeah, you 
Now it was time to clean the disaster zone that is the boys' bathroom. They had been playing out in the backyard in their bare feet, so there was muddy feet and muddy hands all over, so I definitely had to tackle this washroom next. When I am running, back to Now that my laundry was ready to go in the dryer, I moved it over. I'm using some essential oil on some wool balls instead of dryer sheets. And then I'm gonna get the kids' laundry going in the washer so that I can fold by the time all my cleaning is done for the day. And everything's nothing but a game. Game. Just know that I'm with you. Know that I'm with you through it all And I'm gonna be there Whenever you win or if you fall always finding treasures in their kids pockets when they do laundry next it was time to vacuum but then this happened who, who are vlog members will fully understand the frustration my vacuum just broke like what the heck is with me and home appliances right now it's gonna cost me a hundred bucks to fix the vacuum as luck would have it i came home to a shipment and dyson had sent me their new vacuum talk about you know, the stars aligning when you when you need it. Cause I was like, how am I gonna film this video if I don't have a vacuum? So it's the new Dyson Outsize. It's got a digital reader. It switches from auto to high to low, but on the auto mode, it'll switch the power depending on the type of flooring. So for carpet, it'll kind of ramp it up a bit. For hardwood, it won't work as hard, but you can also customize that. Um, I'm comparing it to the older Dyson that I had, which was the V8, I believe. Um, so the foot on this one is much wider. The canister of what the dirt that it holds is much bigger. And it comes with two batteries and two chargers, which I think is really great. It's got, I think it said 10 times the suction than any other cordless vacuum. I like the fact that it reads how much time is left in your vacuuming cycle based on the power that you have. Uh, set it on and so I like that you kind of get a sense of how long you have to vacuum before you run out of power and then because it comes with two batteries and two charges you can always use your backup battery while the other one is charging I think that's a really great feature from my bedroom. Ew, but also, yeah! I vacuumed two days ago in here before the vacuum broke. Holy moly. I'm gonna empty this and try the bedroom again because this says it's full. Another thing I like is when it's running, you can see the run time, so you get a sense of how much longer you have on your battery life while you're vacuuming. I think that's a really good feature. This is after my second round. 
in the bedroom. So Dyson is obviously not a cheap vacuum, but they Dyson doesn't make bad products. You know, they really make high quality products. And Dyson kind of has a cult following. There's, you know, once you try a Dyson, it's very hard to switch back to any other vacuum. Um, and you know, this is not sponsored at all. Dyson did send me the vacuum, but it's not sponsored. But I was really, really impressed with the Dyson and it came at just the right time. It also comes with all of these accessories, which is more accessories than my older Dyson came with. So if you're interested, if you're in the market for a Dyson, I will have it linked down below. Then to end the video, much later in the day, once I had put the kids to bed after their bath, it was time to fold the boys' laundry. My favorite thing to do while I'm folding laundry is listen to a podcast. It's just kind of a really relaxing way to pass the time. I really enjoy folding laundry. I find it very calming for some reason. But I'm interested, those of you who listen to podcasts, what are you listening to right now? What types of podcasts do you like listening to? Leave me your podcast suggestions down below. Uh, because I always love getting new podcast suggestions. Right now, my favorite podcast that I'm listening to is Armchair Expert. It's the uh, Dax Shepard and uh, Monica Pablo, I think her name is. They've got a really, really great podcast. That's probably my top one. Some of the other podcasts that I love is This American Life, I love Ear Hustle. Those are probably my top ones. But leave me your top podcast if you listen to podcasts in the comments. That is it for today's Clean With Me. I hope it gave you tons of motivation. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm at l.linquist. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.